we're going to solve more complicated exponential equations now that we've talked about logarithms. Because every exponential equation we've solved so far has had a perfect power, so it's been able to work out very nicely. But sometimes we aren't given easy problems to solve. So what happens if we have 2x equals 7? Well, the problem is the x is in the exponent spot, and we need to get it out of there. So the only thing we can do is take a logarithm of some base, and we get to choose the base, to get the x out of that power using our power rule of logarithms. So we're going to take, I like the natural log the most, so I'm going to take the natural log of both sides. And then that allows me to take this power and move it to the front. So now we get x log base 2 equals the natural log, sorry, natural log of 2 equals the natural log of 7. And again, remember that since this is just a number, we can divide both sides by the natural log of 2. And I get my answer as, my exact answer is natural log of 7 over the natural log of 2. My approximation would be 7 natural log divided by 2 natural log equals 2.807. And so this is my approximation so that I know where it is. And again, it's always useful since we're dealing with this 2. 2 to the second is 4. 2 cubed is 8. And my 7 falls nicely in between there, between the 2 and the 3. And it's closer to the 3 than it is to the 2. So we have solved it successfully. And we need to, and depending on the problem, we may need to give both answers, both the exact answer and the decimal approximation. Well, sometimes our exponential equations get a little bit harder than that. So what if I have 2 e to the x plus 5 equals 5? Again, my x is in the exponent. But this time I have a little bit bigger of an issue going on. I have this 2 in front as well. And we need to get rid of this 2 before we deal with the logarithm. So what we're going to do is we're just going to divide both sides from the very beginning by the number in front of the base, the 2. This then gives e to the x plus 5 equals 5 halves. Well, now we need to take a log, and we want one that will work in our calculator, but we want it to be as easy as possible. So for this problem, I'm very specifically going to pick the natural log, because then I can use the inverse property. Since the natural log is base e, this is log base e. The e and the e match, which means my answer on the left is just x plus 5. The natural log of e is 1. So then this is going to equal the natural log of 5 halves. And I'm doing that because now I have less pieces to carry around. Otherwise, I need parentheses here and the log of e in order to keep these straight. So when I can, I take advantage of the fact that I'm given a specific base, and that base is on my calculator. Well, to finish solving, I now need to subtract 5 from both sides. And so I get as an exact answer, x equals natural log of 5 halves minus 5. But for my an approximation, I go to my calculator. And we're going to do the 5 halves first. Then we hit our natural log button. And then we subtract 5 to get minus 4.8037. And we've got our answer to four decimal places. So again, there's a difference between our exact answer and our approximation. But there is our answer.